Number three, pretty good night so far. I haven't even gone home for dinner yet. Well, I've just finished my hunt with a bow. Whoa. Jesus, it's a dead cow here. Just finished the hunt and grabbed the 223 out with the thermal on it. And yeah, driving out of the property. I can actually smell the carcass the fox was on right now. And anyway, it heard or saw me get into Posse, ready to shoot it, and it sort of ran up the hill, did a couple of squeaks, pulled it up, and yeah, I think I managed to record it. And it is down up here, so hopefully Rem finds it pretty quick. Very, very good start for the night. Hopefully find a few more. I saw, what did I see? I saw no deer this afternoon, one this morning. So pretty happy to be able to get a fox already. Where is it? I would have rather driven up here. I've already done enough buddy walking today. <sighs> But, a bit steep and rocky to be driving up here. Oh, there it is. Had you already given it a scruff, had you, Em? Hey. Well done, Rem. <laughs> Ten bucks. You ripper. So this fox here, I was trying to squeak and get it to stand up so I could get a positive ID on its tail. I was 99% sure it was a fox, but I just really wanted to make sure. And as you'll see on here, I made multiple attempts to try and get it to stand up. And fairly soon I pan over to the right and there's actually another fox over there, which I knew was a fox because I could see its tail. And their tail is one of the things that I really use to identify them. But anyway, this one ended up standing up and sort of walking off, which you'll see in a minute. And I managed to make a shot, and then I shoot the other one shortly after.
three. Pretty good night so far. I haven't even gone home for dinner yet. The big fox. Big dog. Dog. Good dog. Did you both find that in here, didn't you? Hey? What have we got? Another dog fox. Good girl. Hey? Another one down. Yeah, I am. Fox number six, guys. Very good night in the red coats. They must think we're all in lockdown or something. <laughs> what have we got? Vixen! Good girl, Ram. You've been very handy tonight finding these foxes. Yeah, six foxes. Not bad, guys. And I think I've remembered to record them all on the thermal, so we'll double check that when I get home tomorrow and throw it in the video editor. I'm not going to complain, the farmers around here are going to be very, very happy. And that's what it's all about. Well, I've possibly just blown me deer hunt. Just driving out to the paddock here. And a fox sits on the track. So, I just shot it with the PRC. The 223 and thermal was in behind the seat, another big fox, big dog fox. Actually thought he might have been a bit more, a bit more minced up than that, but anyway, seven foxes. Shot the bloody headlights, <laughs> not bad. indicating down there I couldn't say anything so I thought I'd just blow on the bloody the deer whistle <laughs> all I did was send them running but there's quite a fair few rubs just in here so it's a good sign I'm gonna go put a camera in Another very, very quiet morning with Rem. I've just put a trail camera up. It's a really nice little gully. It normally has a heap of hinds and calves in here, so hopefully within the next couple of months, a stag might sort of start turning up and getting on the camera, so we will see. But yeah, I'll bring you guys along next time I come and get the camera, and then I'll put the footage up on a video so you can see what's been happening. But other than that, man, this morning's been super quiet. Got a fox. <laughs> I think that's going to be it, so... It's probably going to be a wrap. I'll see you guys next time.